What about you, man? You seem a bit camp for one of my shows. How you doing, man? You alright? I don't know why I went camp there, as I said it as well. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? What'd you do? You're a plumber. Fantastic. How does it feel? being able to set your prices depending how old and vulnerable someone looks. <laughs> Must be great, man. This is quite a good looking row here. Look at that row over there. It's like fucking Jim Henson's workshop. <laughs> the audience last night were like a freak show, man. I felt like putting out a public service announcement saying, in the event of a fire, you will all end up better looking. <laughs> it's TV, man. How low is TV going to sink? I fully expect to switch on the telly in a couple of years to see someone going, My name's John Leslie. This is a Viking longship, and you're watching The Story of Rape. <laughs> I saw a show the other night. They're cutting open these giant animals, and they go, Oh, look at this giraffe. It has an incredible number of neck vertebrae. Of course it's got an incredible number of neck vertebrae. It's a fucking giraffe. <laughs> you expecting to find inside it a horse with a periscope? <laughs> Talent shows. Can you even imagine something interesting happening? You switch on and one of the judges is going, well, that was a wonderful tribute to Gary Glitter, but couldn't you have just sung one of his songs? <laughs> People being judged by Amanda Holden. A woman with a face like haunted Tupperware. <laughs> and I'd imagine a vaginal grip like a fucking jockey's left hand. <laughs> Andrew Lloyd Webber, a man who looks like he's had his face carved off by a diseased butcher, put in a piñata, beaten with hockey sticks for six hours, and then the resulting mess piped back onto his head like the icing on the ugliest cake the world has ever seen. <laughs> Cheryl Cole, a set of tits on a broomstick. <laughs> Ashley Cole to me is like a new definition of moron. Someone who buys an unregistered mobile phone so they can text anonymously, then uses that phone to send a picture of his face. <laughs> Almost as retarded is Vernon Kay, who put his marriage at risk by asking a page three girl to send him a picture of her tits. That's what you actually did, Vernon, you fucking mongoloid. How you doing, man? What's your story? What'd you do? You work in a builder's merchant? Fantastic. You must steal loads of stuff. <laughs> Pretty much all you do, isn't it? Anyone want a big bag of sand? <laughs> Great, my dad knew some builder's merchants. We got a lot of fucking sand and cement in exchange for whatever my dad was doing. Hand jobs. Probably. <laughs> and a used girlfriend? How you doing? What you do? You work at HSBC? Don't worry, not for long. <laughs> All their banks are fucked. Apparently there's a scheme now to fast-track bankers who are out of work into teaching. Imagine what a teacher a banker's going to make. OK, I have no apples and you have 40 apples. Give me all the apples. <laughs> How you doing, little fella? Are you all right? What's your story, man? What'd you do? I work in a school. You work in a school? You're a paedophile who failed his priest exams. <laughs> you didn't work in a school. You're a fucking grown man. <laughs> What'd you do? IT. IT? That's the worst. <laughs> You're in two parts of the Venn Danger diagram now. <laughs> You're an IT support fella? Yeah, I remember those at school. We used to bully you. Yeah. <laughs> Once we'd killed all the ginger and black kids. <laughs> Are you doing fella? You're right. What do you do? Physio. You're a physio, right? Are you two together? Because you could be a hell of a paedophile team up <laughs> with our combined skills. What do, what do you do, uh, physio for, man? What sort of sports? Uh, rugby. Rugby. Right. You're a deeply sublimated homosexual. You know that, don't you? <laughs> You're working on a giant man's groin strain. You might as well just go into the centre circle and all fuck each other, OK? <laughs> I hate rugby, but I hope I didn't communicate that to you. I hope I was polite enough there. Deal or no deal, that show gets me, man. Presented by Noel Edmonds looking like a wombat's vagina. <laughs> How old 
Andy's Noel Edmonds going to be before he stops asking his hairdresser to dye 40% of his hair to look like a stain in a tramp's pants? <laughs> his skin, I can't even describe his skin. It's like if your balls had a kneecap. <laughs> if I wanted to sit around watching people open empty boxes all day, I'd spend Christmas morning at Kerry Katona's house. <laughs> Katona, did you see her on this morning? That was one of the saddest, one of the very saddest wanks that I've ever had. <laughs> God knows how you satisfy her now. You probably have to drive a vehicle into her. Maybe a bendy bus and wiggle it about a bit. <laughs> Jeremy Kyle, that's another one. You watch that and you go, where did they get these people from? Where did they get these fucking people? All oh, right, Scotland, right. <laughs> They round up the audience for that show by firing tranquilizer darts into Primark. <laughs> so it's scumbags, isn't it? There's never an episode called, I wanted to go to Tuscany, you swine. <laughs> I'd like to see him come back with the DNA test results for me and go, your DNA test results here? You're not actually human. <laughs> You're a rare breed of fucking cabbage. <laughs> I like those wee titles at the bottom, man. Daddy, are you my nephew? <laughs> I enjoy kicking my pregnant kids. <laughs> Just one person masturbating in the darkness to that image there. <laughs> Maybe you're slapping your pregnant kid because you're in public, I don't know. Going to have product placements on TV now. I think they should blackmail companies by threatening to do negative product placements. Do them on the bill or something. Sarge, we caught a paedophile. Really? What was he doing? Eating Walker's crisps. <laughs> Dragon's Den, I always just think they know too much about business. They only back the boring stuff that's going to make money. You want someone on the panel who's got money but is a right fucking idiot. John Terry, I suppose, ideally. <laughs> so, you're telling me that this is a steak and kidney pie, but I can use it to play my CDs? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> oh, I saw a great thing the other day. You know that programme, The Secret Millionaire? They're not going to make that anymore because people are wise to it. So anytime people see someone with a camera crew in a poor area, they just assume that it's a millionaire. Which is why I think the time is right to start making The Secret Rapist. <laughs> uh, it's been so difficult bringing up my two boys since I got paralysed. Are you going to write me a cheque? Not exactly, no. <laughs> Join us after the break and see which of these three deserving families Tom decides to rape. How you doing, big chap? You look like a roadie for a mental fucking metal group or something. What's your real story? What'd you do, man? You're a banker? Oh, a baker. There we go. Fantastic. What's it like to have a job that people have in a children's book? Fantastic, isn't it? What you been baking today, man? Nothing. Oh, your day off? Yeah. Yeah, it's the weekend. Yeah, I know that. Don't fucking patronise me, right? <laughs> Patronised by a guy who sells rolls for a living. Fuck off. <laughs> How you doing, madam? What do you do? Your candlestick maker? <laughs> <laughs> Housewife, yeah. So, no job then. Cool. <laughs> How you doing, man? You alright? You're, you're the dad of those boys. Yeah. What do you do, man? Company director, listen to the fucking hatred build in the room there. You and your fucking company director. And he's out rolling pastry of a morning. <laughs> swanning about directing fucking companies, you bastards. You felt that, didn't you? You felt that wave of recession goes on for two more months. They're fucking killing you in the car park, aren't they? You'll leave this room with an arsehole like a yawning hippo's mouth. What about you, wee boy? What's your ambition? You got an ambition? You want to be a doctor? There we go, an unrealistic ambition. That's a good one to have. What about you, man? Policeman? 
you fucking little cunt. <laughs> What, you, you want to fucking police us? You want to fucking be the bad guy? You want to fucking knock people about? Why? Because you get bullied at school. You get bullied at school, and fucking rightly so. <laughs> I wasn't going to mention your fucking braces, but now I'm going to fucking mention them. <laughs> you deserve to be bullied, you wee fucking agent of control. <laughs> Could we use sausage rolls to dispose of a body? <laughs> <laughs> I've offended Russell Howard from Mock the Week. I'm sorry to say, because I love Russell, I do love Russell, but I've been sending him texts saying that he should make more use of his incredible resemblance to Baby P. <laughs> do a few gigs in a bloodstained romp of suit and see how they go, Russell. That's what I said. I feel I can talk about this because I'm making a movie about Baby P where Baby P comes back as a wee zombie and kills all the people that were a cunt to him. It's called The P Stands for Payback. <laughs> that whole case makes you really worry any time you meet someone with an initial for a name, doesn't it? This is my wife, Teresa. This is our son, Child D. <laughs> makes you wonder what happened to Mr T when he was a wee boy. Probably get sexually abused on an aeroplane. <laughs> I ain't getting on no plane, fool. My asshole hurts just thinking about it. <laughs> we got Barack Obama as American president now. Came to Berlin, got a standing ovation from 20,000 people. But let's not forget. The last man to get a standing ovation from 20,000 people in Berlin was the most evil man in history, <laughs> David Hasselhoff. <laughs> See, when he gave his first speech as president, they put on that bulletproof glass up in front of him. I think that shows you just how racist America still is. Just because he's black doesn't mean he's going to shoot anybody. <laughs> I had a big meeting with the Dalai Lama a couple of months ago. I really wanted them to have an argument, just so I could read the headline, Obama Lama Ding Dong. <laughs> <laughs> I love that joke, because it's literally like the sort of thing my dad would say. My dad's one of those people that can make you laugh just reading the telephone directory. He's a spastic. <laughs> <laughs>